Hello and welcome to Tech 18. I am Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about the enter data functionality in Pagenet report. So usually in Power BI we have an option of enter data. It means we can create a manual table and we can insert our dummy data or our static informations into our Power BI report. And the same functionality is also available in Pagenet report. Now let's have a look into that. Before to that, if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, please click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. I have opened this Power BI report builder and also I have Excel file which consists of for an example region, year and value. Let me zoom this here. So region, year and value north, south, east, west and all the year and the values in crores and millions. So this is the value we have as a dummy example. So one way is how we need to enter the data into Paginet report and I will also tell you the reason why we need to use this functionality. So here I am into Paginet report. Let me zoom this here and on the left pane you have a data source. Usually this is the process how we need to import the, uh, the data from different data sources. So right click the data source and here you can click on add data source. If you are using a Power BI connection then you can use this Power BI data set connection or else you can use add data source connection. You click here it will open up a new window and here select connection type in the drop down you need to select enter data. And after that you don't need to do anything you just need to click on OK and this will create a data source for you. Now right click the data set and click on add data set. It will open up a new window and here in the query tab option in the data source section you need to select the data source which we have just created and after that you need to click on query designer. You click here and here it will open up the window as same as like this what we are using it in Power BI. If you have not used that functionality in Power BI I have made a separate video on that please go and check out that video as well. So coming back to Excel here, I will just select this data, whatever I have it here until end of this data. I will copy here, control C and then come back to this one, pagenet report and select on this one, control V. So here it just copied and paste whatever I have it here in Excel into this one. And on the top, I just added also the column of the heading of the data. So like in Power BI, we don't have option here to automate detect of the table uh, column headers. But here in this case, we need to delete the first row and then we need to double click this one, give it a name here, region, year and then sales for an example. And also, and also if you just mouse over here, it says data type as a string for region that is fine. But for year, actually we need to right click this column and change type and select the integer. The same way applies to the sales, right click this one, change type and then integer. So now this will convert these two columns into integer value and after that you need to click on OK and also click on OK. So now you need to add this into your report. So insert table and insert table here. I'm going to add a table visual, select this cell value clicking on the region and here year and also the last the sales value. Now I'm running this report. So this will run this report and give all the information whatever I have it here in Excel. I can see all this information here. So now the question is what is the use case of this one right. So before to that I want to tell you one more thing. If you click here add data set. Again I'm selecting the same process as a data source here and then query designer. If you want to add a new thing manually by yourself, you can just need to type it here. Or else I'm just going to add dummy data here, like click on OK, that's totally fine. Now the reason for this one, uh, I will tell you that, let me just cancel this one. Okay, so if you are going to use a parameter in Paginet report, then we need to either pass a static value or we need to call it from a source. 
so here in our example let's assume now this is from a source and if i right click this one add a parameter and here i am going to give it a name as region and also as a region here and everything all these things can be as it is in the available value section i am clicking on get values from a query select here data set and select here region and also select here region and now click on ok if i run this report now this will ask me to select a parameter here when i click on this one this loads all the column values inside to this one it's actually not loading the distinct values for me there are multiple ways we can use the distinct functions and then we can populate the values here but apart from that there are a couple of ways which you can do one is right click this one uh, parameter and then go to available values and specify values so that you can add the values here manually by yourself and then make use of that another method is this one the static table method the enter data so click here add data set select the source here in the query designer and then select the region you can type the name here as it is for an example north south east and west okay and click on okay here and click on okay and then here on the region parameter parameter properties in the available value section here you need to select the data set 2 and here the region and also the region here and click on okay after that when you run this report you will get this option only to select these single single values if i select north here and then click on view report anyway this is going to load everything because we have not made any kind of link together so to do that click on design view again and now what you need to do here you just need to right click this table and then table properties and then click on filters of this one and click on add so here the expression we need to select the column name and after that is equal to if you are selecting a multiple things then we can select in options but as of now i'm just selecting this one and here we need to click on fx icon here we have a parameter and we need to double click this region it will come up here parameters region value and click on ok and click on ok so now run this report and here i'm going to select the region as south and view this report so now you can see i'm getting only the values of south here if i select north for an example and view report now this will also get only the north value here so this is one of the use cases of using as enter data functionality in paginator report if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure you turn on the notification on your devices share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.